today I'm sharing with you a frightfully delightful spider wand. Boo! <laughs> so this cute little spider we're going to be making out of one five inch round and one one sixty. You can also include, as I hope you will, a two sixty to make the cobweb. And we've got a one hundred and sixty here, but a two hundred and sixty would also be frightfully delightful to create that little trailed spider web. Technically, yes, um, it would come out of the abdominum. However, we're making this out of balloons. We are reimagining what a spider's anatomy actually does, and isn't that fun? So when I've created this one, I have a seven petal flower, but you do not need to have seven petals. You can have however many you like. So you can do five or six. I think those will be a nice number. I just did seven because I prefer to have a bit of a shorter handle versus a longer one, but it's all up to what you think looks good. And in an, I've just entwined a 160. I haven't done anything special with it. I have just twirled one of those ends in. Just getting it all caught up there within the petals. We want to try and maintain as much length as possible. So try not to lose too much length when you entwine it in. And I just like keeping this end free to go into the spider because of the lip of the balloon just helps give that little extra bit of friction that we might need to get things to stay where we want them to stay. Let's keep going. Taking now the five inch round. I've just got about four pumps of air in there. My pump is ablating on the in and the out. And as I tie it off, before you really secure that latex knot in place, just roll it a bit more towards the lip end of the balloon. So we've got a little bit of space here in which to play with. Because what we're going to do is now squish the air towards the nozzle. Let's grab and twist. We're going to now pinch twist this part of our spider. Grab your knot, pull it back towards your twist. You're just going to pull the head of the spider away and as we pull and twist, just make sure you've grasped that knot and twist it. And we have our spider head. You're doing great. Let's keep going and create the legs. There's not a lot of twists that go into our spider's legs, so we're going to give a generous amount of air. I have done two pumps and again it's inflating on the in and the out. I'm soften that a little and you can see I've got about a hand with the balloon uninflated. So starting off with the nozzle end we're going to do a shock twist which is hold your balloon over, give it a squish, we're going to give it a twist. So this is our first spider leg and we're going to do something similar to it, recreate all the rest of it. Push. Now you're going to grab that knot between your finger and thumb. As we twist, pass your knot we are through the middle. That action will really help to secure it in and reduce the likelihood of that coming undone. So now we're going to repeat this and create the rest of the legs. So a spider has eight, we've got three more of these to do. You'll see I'm grabbing about a handful. And we're always going to twist it back into this central area here. So for the last bit of our spider, you can split that in half. Oh, we just split that in half. And taking the tail end of the balloon, we're going to twist into the spider's legs. We're going to come back shortly to finish off the bends and knees. We want to take this inflated end and that's what we're going to use to secure the body into the legs. We're going to bring it over and around and then taking the end 
just going to feed it through those legs. You can now come back to me and create the bended legs. And so now you should have something that looks like this. If you are happy and satisfied, then I am so happy for you too, because I think that actually looks really good. You can play around with the positioning of the legs if you like. Honestly, um, I think it depends on a couple of factors. Okay, I thought it looked really cute. My husband was like, no, I prefer the one where you didn't do that. So we all have our preferences, right? So I want you to go ahead and make it how you think looks good. But now we are ready to connect the spider to the web. So we're just going to take the lip end of our balloon. And I'm just wrapping it in so I can use it another day, but Feel free to tie that balloon to really make sure that spider's going nowhere. He looks so cute. The children can have a lot of fun chasing him around. <laughs> now, that's not all we're going to do with this design because I don't know about you, but drawing on black balloons is not easy. Unless you've got paint markers and waiting for them to dry isn't always my favourite thing. So, to help give the spider a little bit of character we're going to use some of these that would he's with craft gems obviously red would look amazing i don't have red round ones red hearts could actually also look really cute too though so just taking two of these little adhesive gemstones we're gonna place them on our sinister little spider like seriously how cute is that oh scary good <laughs> i hope you'll agree if you need, take a white paint marker. You can add in there little triangle fangs. So that's a nice way to add a little bit of extra cuteness. If you need some help or inspiration in creating a balloon flower petal wand, I'm going to link a video here for you. I've been linking a lot lately, but I feel like it is just really helpful if you're not yet confident with it. And I hope that's going to give you some ideas for creating your next balloon wand. Things will be a lot of fun for children walking around events and scaring people with their sweet little spider. You can play around with portions too. Look at the smaller head on this guy. I mean, ultimately, there is a few different ways that the spider might come out and it's going to look adorable. Um, yeah, I'm pretty confident in that. So thank you so much for joining me in this spooky balloon tutorial. So if you enjoyed this balloon design, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, why not join my balloon family? Because I would love to have you join me. But otherwise, that is it for this video. So thank you for helping me to put a positive twist into your life. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.